Wow. Jesse, I love the fact that, you know, it used to be when you bought an AR, you got a stock AR. Now you get them all dolled up with all these different features. Which one is this? Well, this is the uh, the trusty Steg Model 3, but this one is the 3T version. What well, the T stands for is tactical. Ah, okay, for like what, SWAT, police, that kind of thing? Yeah, competition, really anything. Basically oh, okay. what it is is the dressed up version. Uh, Steg sponsors some uh, SWAT uh, championship up in oh, Connecticut. Okay. And those guys gave them some input on a rifle and this is what they wanted. Nice. I love this long handguard on here. This is terrific. Yeah, it's a 16 inch 1 in 9 chrome line barrel and you've got a 13 and a half inch handguard. Okay. So you really can't get your you get anything interfering with the barrel whatsoever while you're shooting up against yeah, it. When you're shooting competition, that's what you do. You're way out there. Oh right? yeah, I've got my hand way out there and we're always shooting off of something, a tree, a, a barricade, whatever, and you don't want anything touching that barrel for accuracy reasons. Okay. Got a, a really long rail here. You can put anything you want on. Oh, Oh yeah, night vision, uh, red dots, magnifiers, all that good stuff will fit all the way to the end of whatever you need. Plus, you can still have your flip-up sights. I was just going to say, we've got their flip-up sights here, you know, which is uh, tactical. Exactly. These <laughs> things are great. There you go. All right, I'll tell you what. Take this thing out to the range and show us what this thing will do, okay? Let's do it. Jesse, one of the features on this 3T that I really like is the handguard. It's thin, it's easy to grip, and it's long. Yes, exactly. It really comes in handy when you're doing target transition drills and when you're shooting down the move. Well, show me what you're talking about. Well, there's three things you want to focus on when you're shooting on the move. First, you want to make sure you're rolling your feet heel to toe, so okay. you really keep that smoothness in your step. You want to bend at the knees, okay. use them as shock absorbers. And then you want to get your hand out in this handguard so you can control that up and down movement and basically try to take the gun off from your body because your body is going to be moving, there's no doubt about it. Right, try to steady everything out. Exactly, so let's give it a shot. Okay. Yeah, I can really see, I mean, you drop down low and you're rolling those feet and then I guess this really steadies it out, getting out there on the head. You're exactly right. I mean, the muzzle's going to be moving and that's what you're trying to do to keep it from doing that. Okay, let me give it a shot here. All right. I tell you what. Helps, I, doesn't it? It really helps. I didn't move very much at all. So, long handguard is actually going to help you be a better shooter shooting on the move, shooting multiple targets.